In the early hours of this morning, volunteer firefighters begin their 12-hour shift putting out spot fires on the outskirts of Aura. For them, today's objective is simple. Just make sure we get the job done and make sure it's safe. They're just some of the 100 fireys working tirelessly as brutal conditions begin to move into the area. Winds of up to 70 kilometres per hour and temperatures rising well into the 40s. But as one fire goes out, several others still linger. They all jump back into their truck and barrel towards another spot fire nearby. Around 900 hectares of grassland across multiple properties have turned to black and there lies the threat. It'll keep going until there's nothing there. In between fires, the trucks rush back to base to refuel their tanks and of course everyone on board. RFS volunteer Graham White has been involved in firefighting for 30 years. He says today's conditions are without doubt among the worst he's seen. We're just trying to keep the edges blacked out, the trees blacked out, um, attend to any trees that are flaring up and um, hoping an edge doesn't get away on us. So while the fire has been contained, the danger that's posed by spot fires like this is still very real. Embers could rise from that fire and spread to other areas which have yet to be affected by blazes, causing an entirely new front. Alan Mulholland has been working for days to make sure that doesn't happen at his property. He says without the help of family, friends and water bombers from the RFS, a lot more properties would have been affected. But he says no matter how much you plan ahead, nothing can withstand such drastic conditions. My old dad used to say, well, always remember Australia is an island and it will stop when it gets to the coast, so don't put yourself in between it and the waves. And that's the advice I would give some of the young blokes. You know, we can rebuild things, we can buy more sheep. Many of those volunteering today are from our uh, village of around 200 people. Conditions like this, they say, show the worst of Mother Nature, but bring out the best from the locals. Volunteer fireys travelling from nearby areas to make sure every community, no matter how small, is covered. They're pretty good. They know that uh, they have to do this, and um, if it was in another area, we would be doing the same thing as well. On the town's outskirts is a symbol of their unison. The local fire brigade buying a run-down tractor and raising funds to help rebuild it so it could play a central role in preparing for the fire season. Ron Wood has faced floods and plenty of fires throughout his 18 years in Aura, but he says he wouldn't live anywhere else. We love it. Yeah, love the community that we live in. It's a wonderful community. It has a community spirit that's not found in cities. And when disaster hits, every helping hand counts. Manny Sigas, World News Australia.